Mary Jennings is an amazing person to start with. We can talk about her, her music and producing her record was an, you know, an honor. She communicates such emotion. Being exposed to her as a person, that's where I like to start because out of the person she is, the, the music kind of comes out of that. Um, yeah, I've been to, to every show that the Mary's had in New York and I thought it was really good. It was just really great to see her live and see her kind of connect. You could see that she has a feeling with the music. You could see that she she's a great believes. Personality. She's, she's so cute and just outgoing and every one of her songs is different. She's very personalized. And I've, at her two shows, I heard uh, her last CD and this is her newest CD and her newest CD is definitely my favorite. We started with an EP and, and the EP went really well. And it was like, hey, you know, there's a batch of songs that we haven't even covered. Why don't we make a full-length record? And so, we, you know, we had to dive back into the tunes that we didn't cover the first time. And I think definitely she's grown and will continue to grow. Now, uh, do you have any favorite songs on the CD? Yeah. Um, uh, Two Bullets is my absolute favorite song. I, I always think in terms of, like, her performing on Saturday Night Live, as a musical guest, and I think Two Bullets is like that type of song. Like, I think it's ready for that type of show. While we were tracking vocals for the, the record, we were over on Columbus in her apartment, kind of Bjork style, just um, tracking right there in the apartment. And she started playing the piano, rehearsing this tune I'd never heard her do before. This song, Make Believe, was something she was just noodling with on the piano and I was like what are you playing what is that oh you know nothing 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 you know it's the token no it's just it's nothing we've got to do that if we have to drop a tune off the record to do that keep in mind there had been no track made for it nothing nothing was done whatsoever so make believe I think and it was also the last thing we did so it's fresh you know on my mind but I think I think make believe. I have to say that. Ask me tomorrow, and I'll tell you something different. Uh, make believe. I think the tracks on that song is amazing. I think Jonathan did a great job in tracks, and yeah, that's my close second favorite. Yeah. She believes in what she's singing, which is just great to see. What I always, what I always tell people is the whole. Okay. I can give you a lot of examples, and you're going to hear, and you're going to say something completely different. We were saying, you know, what genre of music is this? And what we liked most about it was you can hear it playing in a bar and people dancing to it, or you can just hear it, you know, sort of playing in the background and having it be a very chill environment around it. I could say Fru Fru meets Sarah McLaughlin, maybe meets Paula Cole. Let's say Paula Cole. That's not a name you hear a lot of these days, say commercially speaking. But I think she has like a, a Paula Cole, Kate Bush-ish kind of a thing. So yeah, I would say all that. And then again, someone else is going to hear her and go, no, I don't really get that. And that's, I think that's a plus. I don't think that's a negative. I think Mary herself sounds like Fiona Apple. Like she has that deep, like, you know, booming voice from like a small body. Um, but like when she has the band, I don't know, it sounds like it sounds like a lot of things like Amy Lennox back in the day. I think it's, you know, it's good. <laughs> and I just tell them to go, like, I can't describe it, go to MySpace, check it out, and you'll be amazed. I've said this a couple times, you can as an artist duplicate what's out there and maybe, probably find success, right? Or you can, I've heard that you can, do, you can do nothing but break all the rules and find success. I think, I think Mary is a nice blend of the, it's sort of familiar in the sense that I've heard something like that. In other words, it's not strange. There's a familiarity to it, commercially speaking. But I think because she's a unique person, I think her heart, who she is, there's a uniqueness there that's gonna, that's gonna obviously come out. It can't help but come out. It's 
just your average person who didn't know her could listen to it and think that that was music worth buying. In this CD, it's like she's writing more for the fans, and I think that, uh, you know, people like writing more universally, you know, recognize songs and universally, you know, own songs, and when someone hears it, they can relate to it. She puts emotion to every song. And, um, like, she feels life really, really hard. And, uh, you know, she writes about it. She's able to, to properly convey it through every song that she writes. You know, some of the songs are very soulful and musical, and then other ones you feel like you want to dance to also. So the whole album is very varied. It has everything. Like, it has, like, like Two Bullets and Falling Higher. Like, these, these are really strong strong songs. Pretty Janie and um, Make Believe, they're really uncomfortable songs. Like you've got to feel these songs to understand them. But like The Chase and you know Fantastic, these are songs you can walk out to, like you know, bust out in a car and sing along to them. And she doesn't really have those ideas. And she has like hits, like things that you can hear on the radio. Fantastic has a label, I feel like I can't really get into it because it seems feminine, but when she started singing it, it really, I don't know, I got up and started dancing. Yeah. So I'm a little ashamed to admit it, because it's called Fantastic, but I liked it, and I'm not afraid to say it. Are you saying the Mary Jane song helped you get in touch with your feminine side? No, I wouldn't go that far, and you said that, not me. <laughs> I thought it was the kind you, of you kind of song that it. gets a bar alive. She's really excellent, and they're really good live. I mean, really, really good. Um, and you can just see that they believe what they're singing. I, I like her lyrics. I think she puts a lot of heart into them. Yeah. And uh, I think she means what she says, which says a lot. You're gonna love it. Uh, it's gonna. The music will come to life. The words mean a lot more when they're singing them, and you can just see uh, the thought and the sort of I don't know life experience that they put behind the words, and it, it makes it fun. And besides that, um, I mean, you can really connect and focus on the music, but you could also you hang dance, back and have a good time, time, and you know, there's definitely a casual, fun element to it. Too. I'm just, I'm kind of blown away, really. I'm very excited for, for her future.